Good afternoon, Mayor Walker. We are ready when you are. Okay, thank you. Um, I call this um, special meeting um, for the city of Charlottesville City Council to order. Um, I can't see any faces today, so. Um, but Councillor, um, we have a motion to present first. Councillor McGill or, or Hill, are you? Um, I think we're going to do roll first. Oh, yeah. Ms. Thomas. Okay. Mr. Payne. Present. Mr. Snook. Present. Ms. Walker. Present. Ms. McGill. Present. Ms. Hill. Here. I move to approve the resolution amending Dr. Richardson's contract. Second. Ms. Thomas. Mr. Payne. Yes. Mr. Snook. Yes. Ms. Walker. Yes. Ms. McGill. Yes. Ms. Hill. Yes. And there's a. I move, move. Yeah, I move to approve the resolution accepting Dr. Richardson's resignation, appointing Ms. Robertson as acting city attorney and Mr. John Blair as acting city manager. And that's Lisa Robertson, who's our chief um, deputy city attorney. Is there a second? A second. Ms. Thomas. Mr. Payne. Yes. Mr. Snook. Yes. Ms. Walker. Yes. Ms. McGill. Yes. Ms. Hill. Yes. Oh, thank you. So um, thank you all for joining us today as you were just um, made aware based on those two motions um, that Dr. Richardson has tendered um, his resignation effective September um, 30th, 2020 at the close of business. On behalf of the Charlottesville City Council, I would like to thank him for his service and I wish him well in his future endeavors. Dr. Richardson, would you um, like to address the public? You're on mute. <laughs> Move my mouth, nothing's coming out. Um, I just like to say, Madam Mayor, uh, Mayor City Council uh, and the public, uh, you know, during the past 16 months, it has been an honor uh, to serve uh, as your city manager. Uh, and I would like to thank City Council, uh, the residents and business owners uh, for the opportunity to serve this community. Uh, and due to personal reasons, I uh, have decided that the time is right uh, for me to uh, tender my resignation. So thank you. Thank you. And what you heard in the um, second motion was that um, the city council has decided um, at this time to have our city attorney, um, Mr. John Blair to uh, um, act as our city manager as we start a robust um, search process for the next city manager. Um, and I just would like to give um, Mr. Blair an opportunity to say a few words. Sorry. Thank you, Mayor Walker. Um, first, I'd like to thank Dr. Richardson for his service to the city. I think he and I've worked well over the past few months and uh, it's been a pleasure to work with him. And second, I'd like to thank the council uh, for the honor to serve as a temporary bridge until we get a new city manager hired uh, for Charlottesville. But finally, I'd like to express my desire to work with the council on that process to hire a great city manager for the city going forward. Um, the one thing I would like to say personally is I deeply believe that this city and its residents, its council and its workforce can work together 
and we can make this city a more just, fair, equitable, and prosperous place. And I will do anything I can to help the council as it moves forward in hiring a new city manager. Thank you. And um, thank you all for joining us. Um, at this time, we'll take questions from the press and the public. Um, Mr. Wheeler, are there members of the press or public present who would like to um, engage with council? Yes, Mayor Walker. Uh, so at this time, I'll facilitate the next 15 minutes of questions from the media, and then the mayor will open the meeting for public comment where we will follow council's standard procedure of up to three minutes per speaker with one opportunity per person, uh, this time for another 15 minute period. So first I'm gonna ask the reporters um, to raise their hand if they have a question. And I'm gonna call on those of you that registered in advance first. I'll leave your microphone active so you can ask a follow-up question if needed. And if I don't hear a follow-up, I'll just move to the next news organization. Hopefully we can circle through to give each of you at least two opportunities to ask a question. So continue to raise your hand as needed. The first question is from uh, Nolan Stout with the Daily Progress. Nolan, you're on with city council, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, so my first question is what, uh, do you have any idea what the process is gonna look like to find another city manager? Do you plan to contract with a firm like the last search or go a different route? Yes, that our plan at this time is to um, discuss it a little bit more because we haven't, um, you know, really had a lengthy, lengthy discussion about it, but we plan to um, use a um, search firm and, um, you know, to help us with the search, which is um, standard practices. No one, anything else right now? Uh, my other only other question would be um, the first motion was for amendment to the contract. Um, was that just to add the effective resignation date or what was a contract amendment? Yes, that was the only amendment that changed from the um, 75 days to um, what's uh, 19 days. Okay, next up is CJ Pachel from NBC 29. CJ, you're on with council, go ahead. Thanks guys. Uh, Dr. Richardson, was there anything that prompted you to tend to your resignation at this time? Anything specifically that you can point to or you know, anything that you'd like to say about that? No, it just was, it just was time. Um, you know, we worked through COVID, uh, which took up a lot of uh, time. Um, we worked a lot of hours. And then uh, from that, uh, with the untimely death of George Floyd, uh, we started having a number of protests and different things like that uh, in the city. And, um, you know, working day in and day out, uh, many, many hours, uh, it takes a toll on you mentally and physically. So, you know, I just thought it was a good time uh, to step away uh, to, you know, uh, take care of myself. Absolutely. And if I can follow up uh, on that now, uh, will you be involved at all in the search for a new city manager? No. Okay. And then any other media who have questions, please raise your hand. Next, we've got Jesse Higgins with Charlotte Hill tomorrow. Jesse, go ahead. Uh, yeah, this question is for Dr. Richardson also. Do you have any plans going forward? Any next steps? Not at this time. Um, you know, I, I told everyone, I said, I just want to get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's my only question. Thanks. Uh, next up is Sean Tubbs. Sean, you're on with council. Go ahead. Hi there. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, sorry. I've got a phone call coming in. Uh, hold on. Let me turn that off. Uh, yes. Um, have you been in contact with anybody in Albemarle County or the University of Virginia to notify them of this or just to get their feedback? Obviously, Mr. Blair was with Albemarle County for a while. So I'm just wondering how this might play out regionally. 
At this time, we haven't had the discussion um, with, um, you know, externally, but we um, will have those necessary discussions in the coming weeks and there is a transition period. Um, Mr. Blair acting capacity begins tomorrow and um, officially and um, for a couple weeks he will be able to work with Dr. Richardson on um, the transition plan. Thank you. And next we have Catherine Young with uh, CBS. Catherine, go ahead. Um, so my first question is um, how much severance, if any, will uh, Dr. Richardson be getting as part of his uh, resignation? So the only thing that um, changed in Dr. Richardson's contract was the um, time period for um, the effective date of the resignation. Um, so the other um, parts of the contract, which included a year salary, um, they are still intact. Um, so I do have a follow-up question, which is um, kind of thinking about um, over the last couple of years since August 12th of 2017, um, there's been relatively high turnover in, in some of the high level positions, thinking about city manager and um, police chief, uh, different positions like that. Um, um, have there been, uh, are you concerned about the high turnover rate in uh, those leadership positions, Mayor Walker? Um, yes, I, all of us are concerned about those high um, turnover weight rates. The goal is to stabilize um, the organization. I think if you pay attention to election cycles, um, the intention behind every council member at this time is to create a thriving community. And um, for us to do that, we would need a stable organization. So um, yes, it's concerning um, to us and it's a goal to repair it. Um, Fortunately, I don't have to go into details because all of um, the challenges we faced over the past few years have been public. Um, and so you all are aware of why we've had some of those challenges. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, next, we'll go back to Nolan Stout. Go ahead, Nolan. I was wondering, do you think that this uh this quick turnover rate that you've had is going to affect you hiring someone else to fill this position in the future? It may. Um, that's not anything that we could say with certainty that it wouldn't, um, but we'll do the best we can and hope that um, at some point in the near future that someone will find Charlottesville an attractive place to um, be employed and help us um, grow and work through some of our challenges. Um, I, I know you said you wanted to contract with, a, with, as you usually do, to find someone for this position. Um, do you still want to have as, as public a process as you did last time with like public uh, interviews with finalists and things like that? Again, that's not something that we've discussed as a council, but I believe that it would be in everyone's best interest for us to um, follow that same um, process and allow the public and staff um, to be able to weigh in on our final decision. And we'll go back to CJ with NBC. Go ahead, CJ. All right. And, uh, you know, I was just kind of curious about a timetable for this process. Obviously, I'm sure that the answer is going to be something like, well, when we find the right candidate. But uh, have you guys talked at all about how long you expect this to take? Um, is it feasible that you might have a new city manager by end of the year? Or is this a process that will stretch into next year? At this time, we don't know a timeline. We hope that it's shorter um, in duration, but we don't, we can't say for certain. Again, this is all um, relatively new and we um, have to process and discuss a lot of those, um, you know, a, lo a lot of those matters. And Jesse from Seville Tomorrow, go ahead. Yeah, this question again is for Dr. Richardson. Um, for, for those of us and, and for people who are going to be reading our stories and watching 
researching our stories that aren't intimately involved with city government. I wonder if you could take a moment to kind of explain what what your role as a city manager is and, and was and how the extreme climate changed that role. Um, I don't think it changed it. Uh, as city manager, uh, you know, I run the day-to-day -day operations of the city uh, as council uh, makes policy. Um, and, um, and what's the second part of your question? I'm sorry. Oh, I just want to get a sense of what, like, what your job is, what you do, <laughs> how, <laughs> like, how, how you function in that role. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, once again, you know, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Um, that means all of the city departments, uh, they all report uh, to me. Uh, and uh, we carry out uh, anything that you can think of in the city that makes the city work, uh, whether it's from, you know, uh, uh, water, gas, uh, whether it's fixing the streets, uh, whether uh, it's us uh, here uh, taking your payments for your utility bills. Uh, it's a number of things uh, that uh, I do on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, but is every day the same? <laughs> no, because you never know what's going to happen in the city where you have to change your day-to-day -day operations. Uh, and then, you know, as city manager also, too, uh, we have a lot of um, external agencies uh, that uh, I sit on the board um, for. Um, so uh, that's my uh, other part of my responsibilities. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. And we're back to Sean Tubbs. Yes, thank you. Uh, there's a couple of other high profile vacancies, the housing coordinator, the director of NDS. Uh, you did just, the city did just recently hire a new public works director. But for those two vacancies, how does this affect uh, the timing for those positions? Council, you want me to answer that? You, that's fine. Um, I don't think it impacts it. I, I just think that uh, we'll keep on moving in that direction. Those positions are posted. Um, we, like you said, hired the director of public works. Uh, we do have a, we did have a candidate for NDS um, but uh, we're working on that to try to get uh, another doctor here as soon as possible uh, to fill that vacancy. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm sure uh, with John Blair in charge, uh, we'll keep moving forward in terms of finding uh, the right person uh, for those positions. Great. And any other media who haven't asked a question, this is your last opportunity. I'm going to go to Sandy Hausman. Sandy, go ahead. And you'll just have to unmute Sandy. Sandy, can you hear us? Sandy Hausman, going once. All right, we will circle back to you, Sandy. We'll try one more time. Uh, Nolan, one more question, go ahead. Um, before Mike Murphy left, he uh, wrote a four page memo that was uh, critical of Dr. Richardson's tenure. And I w was wondering if any of the concerns he raised played a role in uh, coming to this point. That um, period um, in the city it, it is our in our history and we would like to um, keep it that way, those matters have already been addressed. And Jesse Higgins, last question. All right, yeah. At what point was the council made aware of Dr. Richardson's decision to resign? Um, I don't remember um, the exact date. We've probably been having discussions for about a week and a half, two weeks. And we'll try one more time with Sandy Hausman. Sandy, if you unmute, go ahead. Yeah, can you hear me now? We can. <laughs> I was asking if there's something particularly difficult about managing in Charlottesville. I know that in general, 
local government management tends to move around a lot, but it is a tough situation to be in when you're reporting to both the council and to the voters in a sense. But is Charlottesville particularly challenging? Is it a, a bunch of people who are too smart for their own good? Or why would, why would you say that we have had so much turnover? And I'd like to hear from both the manager and the mayor on that. I would say from my standpoint as city manager, uh, it's very challenging. Uh, like I said, uh, there's many hours that are put into this position, uh, a lot of late nights and weekends. Um, so, you know, it's just according on, you know, how you're built and how you handle that. Uh, and as far as the moving around, you know, that's the nature of this business. Uh, you work for the will of the council uh, and, uh, you know, and then you have your own personal goals. So that all is dependent upon, you know, the the culture uh, of this profession in terms of moving from place to place. And I would say, yes, I'm, anyone um, who monitors our situation um, would um, not hesitate to say that it is difficult to um, both be, I'm sure, an employee of the city and an um, elected official in the city. So it's um, quite a challenge. I think, you know, there are days where, I mean, I have talked to at least four of the counselors extensively about um, this matter. And there are probably days that we're all like, how long can we do this? And then there's something um, that leads us back to the reason why we ran um, campaigns in the first place and took an oath and that we get right back up and we start doing the work again. And hopefully at some point there'll be more trust within um, the community relationships and there'll be more, um, you know, a, a healthier spirit within uh, the, our internal workings and that it'll come together and that we'll have a healthier environment. Thank you. Okay, that'll conclude the media portion of this uh, discussion. Next, we'll go to the public as part of a public comment period for the next 15 minutes. We'll take as many people as possible. Uh, so if you're in the audience, you'd like to offer a comment or question to council, just click the raise hand icon in the Zoom webinar. If you're on via telephone, you can press star nine. I'm going to wait here and see if we get any hands. First up is Elliot Harding. Elliot, you're on with council. You've got three minutes. Uh, this question, I guess, would be for Mr. Blair. Uh, where does this leave the city attorney's office as far as staffing? Uh, thank you, Mr. Harding. Uh, Lisa Robertson, who is the chief deputy city attorney, will be the acting city attorney while I serve, hopefully briefly, as the acting city manager. And um, we are in the process of also hiring a new assistant city attorney uh, to fill a, a vacancy. And we'll take any other questions from the public. Just click the raise hand icon in the Zoom webinar. And it doesn't appear there are any further questions, Mayor Walker. Okay. We just want to check again just to make sure and then we can adjourn. No additional hands. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us today. Again, um, thank you. Um, Councilors and Dr. Richardson and um, Mr. Blair for um, your participation in this special session. And Dr. Richardson, again, we wish you um, well in the future. And we know that there will be a lot that we will have to discuss in the next two weeks. I appreciate everything once again, Council. And uh, I'll still continue to root for you uh, from the outside. Uh, and if you need anything, as usual, you know, I said I'm a professional. so. Um, I will answer any questions that you may have uh, moving forward. Um, and, uh, you know, thank you to the community. I'd really appreciate everything.
right. All right, thank you all and this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.